Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Tableau in Two Minutes. Today we're going to walk you through how to create a waterfall graph. Uh, if you've never seen a waterfall graph, there's one on the screen for you. Uh, it's basically like a bar graph where every bar um, builds on top of the previous one until we work our way up to this grand total all the way on the right-hand side. So in this case, we've connected it to the uh, sample Superstore data set. And you can see how the sales of each subcategory of product build on top of one another um, until we get out to our grand total. Um, there's also one here for profit. In the case of profit, you can see how the profit for each uh, subcategory builds on top, um, even with a couple of negatives in there, and then how we end up with our grand total on the right-hand side. So uh, these are dead simple to build in uh, Tableau. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take subcategory and just create ourselves a basic bar chart of profit. Um, you can see the uh, handful of negative products in there. But then we're going to convert this product to a running total. Once we have the running total again, you're beginning to see the shape of it that's building up. Um, then we're going to change the graph type to a nat bar. And you can see with the nat bar, then we get the just the top of the bar indicated. Now to get the size of the bar correct, we're going to take profit, drag it out onto this uh, shelf, the uh, sorry, the size box on the mark shelf. And then we are going to double click on it. And we're going to make it negative. Why are we going to make it negative? Well, you can see these are all pointing up. We actually want them to point down because we want them to build from the uh, level of the previous product. So if we make that negative, now you can see um, that if we look at uh, accessories, you can see that leading into appliances, then it's art, etc., etc., etc. Then, just to clean it up a bit, I'm just going to move this up. We'll rotate the labels. <clears throat> One of the things that's helpful, uh, especially with these smaller ones where you can't really tell whether it's positive or negative, is adding a bit of color. So the way to do that, again, is to take profit, drag it out to uh, the color shelf, and then what we're going to do is we're going to edit it. Uh, and we're just going to, I'm going to, I like to do a stepped color. So you have a red and a blue. Um, take it down to two steps. Make sure that the center is set at zero. And then apply that. Now you can see that our two negative or three negative subcategories are highlighted red. And then the final step for these, often we like to end with a big uh, bar on the right-hand side that shows the grand total. So to add that, we just go into analysis totals and then show row grand totals. Uh, and over here on the right-hand side, we have our grand total. Uh, and that is how you build a waterfall chart in Tableau. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. There's a link to the workbook and to the data set in the video description. And if you like what you hear, then please subscribe to our channel for more Tableau tips and tricks.